Оксана и Наталья Парамонова came to Japan from Ukraine in January 2023. Наталья Парамонова is from the Ukrainian city of Шостка in the Sumy region that was repeatedly shelled by Russian forces. I was in a very poor psychological state. Oksana came to Ukraine from Italy and took me away. She said, Mama, we need to leave and get better. Her dad, my husband, stayed at home. Mother and daughter received evacuee status because Natalia Paramonova's younger daughter lives in Japan. There are among around 2,300 Ukrainians who came to Japan since the start of the full-scale war in 2022. Japan accepted only 74 refugees in 2021. Sergei Korsinsky, Ukraine's ambassador to Japan, says the main condition for coming to Japan is to have a sponsor, usually a relative, a close friend, a company or a university. The rest is up to Japan's government. Today you'll find Ukrainians everywhere, from Hokkaido to Okinawa. Every prefecture and mayor's office has a special center for helping Ukrainian evacuees. Evacuees get accommodation, kids go to school, parents get permission to work. They also get medical insurance, same as the Japanese themselves have. The Paramonovas live in the suburbs of Tokyo and only pay utility bills. Оксана says she feels the support from locals. There is a belief that Japan is a very closed community, that people don't open up easily. But when we settled here, I told my mom it felt like home. It's cozy, and the people are so open. Support centers for Ukrainians also help. One such center is Himavari. Its founder is psychologist Mariko Ukiyo, who specializes in helping people who have lived through trauma. I cannot stop the war. Even the American president can't stop it. But what I can do is help those people who came to Japan with psychological trauma they need to deal with. But the trauma is not just psychological. Many Ukrainians come to Japan with a medical history. Oksana Paramonova is fighting an oncological disease. And Ukiyo, who also has cancer, helped the woman find a good doctor and assisted with communication. Mm. Do. 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 Meanwhile, 18-year-old Robert, who declined to give his last name, has been living in Japan for the last nine months. The ah. center helped him find a job and learn Japanese. Robert's dream is to get a degree in aircraft engineering and see his family members who stayed in Ukraine. I've been living abroad for 18 months now, and I miss them terribly. Natalia Paramonova says she intends to go back to Ukraine once the war is over to help rebuild her home country. But for now, she's teaching her Japanese neighbors how to make borscht while making new friends. Yulia Yarmolenko for VOA News. Tokyo, Japan.